super easy gel roses and a various glitter application nail art tutorial by hot pink zebra polish hi everyone in today's video i'm going to be showing you a new set of melody Susie gel polish that i just got this one is timeless muse and they're all very earthy type colors very natural and colors that almost anyone could wear so i'm going to be showing you those and then i'm also going to go over different applications of glitter for the various glitter varieties so i'm going to go over just raw plain glitter some mermaid or chameleon pigment and then hollow and they all have a different application technique that really does show them off the best so i hope that helps you out and don't forget to click subscribe to my future videos as well so here's the set of gel polish that I got from Melody Susie, and it's their Timeless Muse collection. And so I'm just going, it's a set of six colors, and they're all very natural colors, or not really natural necessarily, but they're all very earthy feeling to me, and there's um, quite a bit of pastels. So there's like a couple different beiges and brown colors, and like a pastel yellow, and pink, and peach, and then there's one that's kind of like an umber color. And I will post um, some better swatches on Instagram if you're interested in seeing what I think the whole collection. So to begin with, I'm going to use the one that's called beige, and I'm going to be applying it to my index middle and pinky nails. First that, just the first coat, and Melody Susie's gel polishes are a one step, so you don't really have to worry about applying a, a base coat. So I'm going to apply another coat to the index nail, and then cure that. After that's cured, apply a super duper thin layer of some gel top coat. And so then while that is still wet before it's cured, I'm going to take some black gel polish and I'm going to be adding it around the rose. Now this black gel did not come in the set, but I needed black. So this is just a different one. And so then I'm just going to, so to do the rose, basically add like parenthesis curves or C curves, just going around and around in a circle going out and just keep building on it. The black gel polish will just apply really easy into that gel top coat so it's this like i said it's the easiest way to do roses and it will slightly spread out as it goes creating this wonderful gradient within each petal and it's just it's a quick easy really cool looking way of doing roses so then on my middle and pinky i'm going to be creating a gradient so i'm going to start with the soft beige or that light beige color up near the cuticle and then i'm going to be applying the color called peach light in the middle and then the light, I think it's, I'm trying to remember what, like it's a pink, the light pink color at the tip of the nail. And these are all still wet. And so then I'm going to take in just a little tiny brush, I'm going to start blending the colors together. Now I've seen gel gradient tutorials where people use a sponge and I have tried that and it's never, I don't know, I feel like I don't get quite the color payoff as I would like doing it that way. I'm gonna lose my voice. Um, <laughs> so I'm just, I like to use a brush instead and it kind of almost reminds me of a sunset then. It's not a perfectly smooth gradient, but it does have this almost, you get like these little tiny swirls mixed in there. And like I said, it reminds me of a sunset. I do like the look of this, but if you are going for like a gradient gradient, um, there are different ways of doing this. Uh, you can see like you can use an angled brush and dip into the colors of gel or you can use a sponge. If you want to use a sponge, though, make sure you protect your cuticle with some silicone or white glue or something, or not silicone, um, latex, just to make sure that you don't get too much gel on your skin. And so I'm just going to go through, and after I got the first layer blended, I'm going to blend them some more with just a little bit of like backward or back and forth strokes with that brush. And then once I'm happy with the gradient, I'm going to cure that again fully. And so then I'm going to burnish in some of this chameleon powder I have. It's kind of a pink to gold. And you don't have to apply any other product over the top of the gradient because the Melody Susie has, it's a no wipe. So it's the perfect feel to apply that chameleon powder. So then I'm going to take and I'm going to be adding some rhinestones along the cuticle of the middle nail, just the middle one. I'm going to leave the other ones plain for the time being. So I'm doing five of these rhinestones that are absolutely stunning and they kind of have a multiple color thing going on with those two. On my ring and my thumb, I'm going to start by applying two coats of the pink rouge color and then I'm going to cure between the coats just as you normally would. So there's the first coat. Throw that into the lamp and apply the second coat on the ring nail. The second coat probably isn't necessary, but I like to do it anyway. And with the Melody Susie, oh, then I'm gonna apply a thin layer, a very, very thin layer of gel top coat, and then I'm going to apply some pink glitter over the top. So to apply the pink glitter, I'm going to take and just scoop it on. You could also dunk your nail in, but I find that that might push the gel top coat around a little bit too much. So I like when using gel to pour it on instead of to dunk the nail. 
tap off the excess and then cure that and then for the last glitter application i'll show you here so on the thumb apply another thin layer of the gel top coat and then i'm going to take and i'm going to add a little bit of that black rose at the cuticle and so the melody susie like i said it's a one step so you don't need to apply a top coat to it and you don't need to apply a base coat um, adding a base coat will make it last longer i like to test things without just to see how it lasts anyway and lasts really well two weeks um and then the top coat you will have to add over the top of anything that you add on top of it so since all of the nails had art on them i needed to so then to apply the chrome or the holographic uh, pigment you have to wipe off some of the tacky layer and the gel top coat i was using had a tacky layer so just take a dry towel and wipe some of that off that is super important because you need just a hint of a tacky layer with holographic powder. So just wipe off some of it and make sure the towel is dry. So then I'm going to be applying liquid latex over the top of that rose and then over the top of my cuticle. So just make sure that it's over the rose and if you need to add a second coat, go ahead. So now using black hollow powder, I'm going to be buffing that in to that partially tacky layer that I have. And as you can see, it just still doesn't stick super well. With hollow powder, you wanna make sure that it is sticky enough that it will stick, but not so sticky that it likes to stick. So you kinda of have to like work with it and convince it to stick, and that is what you want because that's gonna give you the best hollow appearance. So then after you have that on there, go ahead and peel off that liquid latex. And then I'm going to be just defining the line between the glitter and the rose with some black acrylic paint. So just go through and outline that. And so that's how the various glitters, so for raw glitter, just regular glitter, you wanna use wet gel for the, um, the chameleon powder, you wanna make sure that there is no tacky layer at all. So use a no wipe top coat or like these one step polishes that dry without a tacky layer or cure without a tacky layer. And then for the hollow, you need just a hint of a tacky layer. And so, and depending on the gel polish you're using, that has a tacky layer removing it for the holographic might take some tack so that you might take some work to figure out exactly how much you need to wipe off how much pressure to use and all of that good stuff so you might have to play around with a little bit to get the best application and then on my pinky nail with black acrylic paint i'm just going to go through and paint little roses all on top of that nail so just apply them going you know all over it just to cover it up or not to cover it but almost like a lace a rose lace all over the nail with little tiny brush strokes and then I'm going to be applying a layer of top coat and all of the nails I did need top coat because I either have paint on them or something else and so then you always need to make sure that you top coat them so apply that and over the rhinestones on the ring nail make sure that you really get them covered so that they will last as long as possible and then apply it over the raw glitter and over the raw glitter you might want to consider wiping your brush off before you stick it back in the bottle and then on the nails that have any of the glitter so the chameleon the glitter and the hollow powders make sure that you apply a second coat um, and then remove the tacky layer if your gel top coat does have one and the reason you want to apply a second coat especially over the chameleon and the holographic powders is because they tend to wear off but if you apply two coats you're going to have a much better wear with them it's going to last so much longer so i hope you like this design and you can check out the description box for a link to that gel set i was using and i will see you in my next video bye